Sure. Hey, Mark. Hey, Alex. My name is James Maselin from Movie Death Post. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me today. Thanks, James. So I got to be curious, uh, you know, Mark, Virgil, we didn't really get to see much of him in season one as a, like a father, but it feels like season two, we get to see more of his like, you know, loving nature towards Billy and everything like that. But he's always scheming. Was that something you're interested in portraying this time around? Oh, for sure. Um, I'm I'm glad they went into Virgil's past with with Billy. I wanted to see where the rift started and how it started, and uh, and I wanted I wanted to see if Virgil could make up all that lost time with his son and actually be an encouraging father and help him step out in the world as an independent man and um, and get a redemption, a little bit of a re redemption out of that. You know, Alex. Uh, you know, when we left when we left Billy season one, he was pretty broken at that point. And, uh, you know, we're getting to see a new side of him at that point, but he's also, he's not the same character from season one. So what can we expect in season two from him? Yeah, I think we start and we see him kind of with a fresh slate and he's, he, I think he has a new lease on life and that actually brings a lot of joy to him that we haven't seen in the past. And um, I think it's really something that happens sooner rather than later that his past continues to come up and shows through flashbacks and, and visual um, stimulation that happens through just what he's doing that his past continues to come up and he sees uh, that he has a lot of trauma he hasn't dealt with yet. And I think this season is really a purging of, of the mistakes he's made in the past and, and what he's had to deal with in prison. You know, his relationship with, with Isaac and, and that family, it's unique that, all these bad things keep happening to him, but he keeps protecting them and loving them at a certain point. Do you ever think he resents them as a character? Are you talking about resenting the, the English? So yeah. 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 I, Sorry. I don't, I don't think he does resent them. I think, I think he has uh he grew up with them. He has this, this love for them that um, I think kind of goes beyond any of that. I think he accepted what he did and he knew what he was signing up for. Um, when he did take the blame and take the fall. And I think, um, you know, anybody can kind of have a little bit of resentment, but I think he was very committed when he was doing that. And I think this season he really tries to to make amends with Lee. And I think that uh, relationship uh, starts to falter more because they're kind of not on the same page from the get-go. You know, Mark, the first time we get to see Virgil in season one, you know, he's having an affair, he's still married, and he's like, you know, he shows up to the, the auction with a shotgun and everything like that. I think that was one of my favorite scenes from season one, but uh, season two, are we going to see any any more crazy Virgil stories coming out you can tell us about? I think, you know, I think Virgil graduates, in my mind, from, you know, small town, occasional hood to something much more ominous <laughs> Um, cause what he does to help his, his son out of his PTSD is pretty crazy. And I imagine he did it alone. Uh, and that would require a, a pretty gnarly dude. So, uh, um, yeah, you're going to see, you're going to see a, uh, I think a Virgil that's going to make you ask even more questions about what's going on with this guy. You know, just between, you know, us, you know, Mark, you've been one of my favorite supporting actors that I've seen in a while from from Lost to Mulholland Drive and everything like that. But I got to ask you just how many times a week or a month people ask you about the smoke monster on Lost? Is that like the main question you get from that show? Uh, the people do want to know if I know what, you know, <laughs> all kinds of secrets with Lost because I was the guy who had all the secrets with Lost. But um, I, I always disappoint them because I'm as I'm as lost as they are. <laughs> Uh, you know, Alex, are you guys, you know, for both of you guys, final question before we wrap here, are you guys both interested in like a season three? Because I know it keeps getting canceled and brought back and moved from different channels and channels, but do you guys want to see this story continue for a few more seasons? Definitely. I would love to see a season three. I think there's a, a lot more to play with too, with these characters and where it leaves off at the end of season two. Mark, what about you? Yeah, for sure. Um, especially with the cliffhanger at the end of season two, that has to be resolved. And I'm pretty sure the audience is going to love the characters enough to see where that's going to go. Yeah, I was like, it's tough to beat the, the cliffhangers that we got at the end of season one. I don't give any spoilers here, but I can't wait for people to see what happens and get to see season two of American Rust when it premieres in a couple of weeks. But uh, thanks for sitting down with me today, guys. I appreciate your time. Thank you.